Hello students, here we are going to learn about cross talk. So cross talk is the general term given to the effect of other signals on the desired signal. So almost every component in a WDM system introduces cross talk of some form or another. The component include like the filters, wavelength, multiplexer and demultiplexer, switches, a semiconductor, optical amplifier or SOA and the fiber itself. So the two form of cross talk arise in the WDM system. So one is interchannel cross talk and the intra channel cross talk. So consider about the first. So when a cross talk signal is at a wavelength sufficiently different from the desired signal wavelength, uh, that the difference is larger than receiver's electrical bandwidth. So this form of cross talk is known as interchannel cross talk. Or when a cross talk signal at the same wavelength as the that of the desired signal or sufficiently closes to that of the difference in wavelength with the receiver's electric bandwidth this form of cross talk is known as a intra channel cross talk or sometimes known as a coherent cross talk so detail about the individual so intra channel cross talk arise in the transmission leaks due to the reflection so this is usually not a major problem uh, such as link uh, that for the reflection uh, can be controlled. So however the intra-channel uh, cross talk can be a major uh, problem in the network also. So one source of uh, arise uh, from the uh, cascading wavelength demultiplexer with the wavelength uh, multiplexer. So you have the given example. Uh, regarding that the so consider in the related the portion of the signal at the one wavelength uh, consider as a uh, I'm consider lambda I and leaks into the adjacent channel so the some portions may be leaks so consider as a lambda I plus one clear so uh, be, uh, according to the known cellular suppressions with the DMOX so when the wavelength are combined again into a single fiber by the mux so the so at that time the small portion of the lambda i then leak into the lambda i plus one channel will also leak back into the common fiber at the output side so they also provided the output side so the cross toll penalty is the highest when the state of polarization of the cross toll signal is the same as the sop state of polarization of the desired signal so then practice that the sop very slowly uh, with time in a system using a standard single mode fiber so this cross toll uh, penalty is the highest when the cross toll signal is exactly out of phase with the desired signal and the phase uh, relationship between the two signal uh, two signal significantly uh, exactly uh, out of phase with the desired signal and the relationship between they can vary over time due to the several factor including the temperature variation also so they provide a cross talk over ens this is, this is an intra channel so now the uh, second case is inter channel cross talk so in the case of inter channel cross talk can arise from the variety of sources so a simple example uh, is of optical filter or demultiplexer that select one channel and imperfectly reject the other so i'm just giving one example over here so in this uh, example in optical switch uh, switching different wavelength uh, where the cross talk arise this cross talk arise uh, because of imperfect uh, isolation between the switch port so here is uh, uh, first is case uh, optical demultiplexer and the second case is optical switch where input at the different level with pass 
so according to the estimate in the power penalty due to the interchannel cross talk is fairly straightforward so if uh, the wavelength spacing between the desired signal and the cross talk signal is large compared to the receiver bandwidth